Hey, what's up everybody? Doing a quick uh, kind of review gameplay video of, it's called a Phoenix, and it's a remote control airplane uh, simulator. And I, I've actually played quite a bit of these, I've downloaded quite a few of them. There's not very many of them that's actually pretty realistic, and uh, this is this is one of them that I actually really enjoy. And uh, it works really, really well. Uh, I'm actually just using an Xbox 360 controller. Um, you can, you know, easily hook up your transmitter if you own one. Um, it's really easy to fly. I mean, it's it's like it's stupid easy. And if you crash like that, uh, you just start over. You don't have to pay another hundred dollars for another plane. So <laughs> uh, it's uh, you know it's great for it's like uh, you know if it's like freezing cold outside and it's super windy or or it's snowing or something and you're just wanting to be able to fly, but you you know you can't because there's uh it's too cold or whatever so it, it's great to be able to like go indoors and just be able to fly still so I really enjoy this uh, simulator and it's it's just a lot of fun there's tons of different planes uh, let me go ahead and land this guy and see if I can get you show you some planes alright so let's see here there is I mean, there's just my favorites that I've chosen. There's a T-28 uh, from Park Zone, and these are like name brand planes. They're not just, you know, just random planes and stuff. So, um, some of them are are ridiculously cool. Like for instance, here's this P-51 Mustang. You can change the scale, the size, everything. Like for example, when I get this thing in the air, um, you can change the motor sounds. I mean, the game is highly, highly customizable and pretty realistic actually. And then for instance here actually retractable gear pretty awesome so but yeah like I was saying I mean very very realistic let's go ahead and put our gear back out ah. <laughs> yeah that's what I get for I have my gear set up on my keyboard so probably not the best thing and you do have dual rates as well you can tap the D key throw the dual rates on everything becomes really mushy but you can adjust all the dual rates and everything else like you may know, have your your rudder you know your elevator and then your throttle which you can't see and then of course ailerons so but I mean just bring it in for a landing I mean you just cut throttle about to about quarter throttle you know bring it in make sure you give it just a little bit more gas when you get near the flare See, I think that's too far out in the grass right there. I mean, it's you can even upload your own, uh, you know, images to to the website. Um, it's like Phoenix RC, and I mean, I don't know. I just I really like this. It's a lot of fun. It's a great time waster, and it, uh, like I said before, I mean, it's it's pretty realistic. Uh. That's the worst landing ever. So anyways, not, not my favorite plane. I don't know why I'm even showing you guys that. <laughs> my, uh, let's see what I have here. I've had other ones that I've edited. I want to say there was a... Where's that, where's that giant park zone? This is a great plane here, especially if you're wanting to learn 3D. Um, I mean, it, what, I mean, it'll just take off from, from nowhere. And, I mean, it's really hard to do this in real life, but say for example um, let's see if I can get up in the air and fly around but uh, I mean you can do you know knife edges all day long yeah And you can run into yourself, so yeah, be careful on that. Uh, let's see if I can land this thing. I know this probably is not very exciting for you guys, but I, I just want to kind of get this game be known because I mean, R RC flight is is so much fun. It's relaxing. I really enjoy it. I like building things, I like th taking things apart. So putting together a model, you know, and, and the models are cheap. They're like fifty bucks, you know, for a decent model. I mean, you can spend a hundred dollars on a nice one, you know, for foam, but um, you can even build your own out of like Dollar Tree foam board from uh, you know for like a couple bucks and then just use the electronics. The electronics is the expensive part which I say it's not expensive but 
the most expensive part. So, you know, if you guys have any questions about it or want to know anything about it, just leave comments below. I'll definitely answer any of your questions because uh, I, I really enjoy this stuff. So there's even jets. Like here's an EDF jet. It's a fan inside of the plane. Um, they're a lot faster, a lot harder to control. As you can see how much faster this plane is. I mean, it's, it's, it's moving. And there's RC planes that will easily go up to 100, 120 miles an hour. So... Um, but landing these are kind of quite the chore. You, you want to make sure you, come, you don't come in too hot. Let me see right there. I was just gliding the whole way. No motor. And I'm still hauling butt. So let's see. Let's see if I can get it over here. Cut the motor off. Like that. There you go. And kind of wiggle. Let it go left and right. Sometimes I'll slow the plane down. You don't want to do it too much, you'll tip over, so... There we go. So, yeah, I mean, there's tons of different planes. Hello. Okay, so there's tons of different planes, and there's tons of different uh, uh, flying sites. Uh, I'll give you one more just to kind of show you the idea. I mean, as you can see, there's tons of them. People upload ones, all different kinds of things. Um, there is even... Let's see here. Let's see if I can find a good one. Let's see. There's a Stonehenge, of course, and... What is this? That must be a new one. I haven't seen that one. Uh, it's user created. Uh, tons of different areas. There's even indoors. There's even planes that fly indoors, like really, really lightweight planes. And let's see. Boat Club. That's where I want to fly. And model this time. I want to show you something. I, I love this. I think it's crazy impressive. Um, there is amphibious planes and also helicopters on here. I'm just not big on helicopters. There's gliders, helicopters, all that kinds of stuff. Uh, but float planes, pretty, pretty awesome. For instance, let's use this uh, hub here. And this is a nitro powered, this is gas powered. They make electric and gas. Um, And that little dip in the water, that's pretty normal for, for a float plane. So um, float planes are a lot heavier. I mean, this is, I want to give you like a more of a realistic type of flight, not crazy aerobatics and stuff. So, um, but yeah, I mean, these, uh, like I said, these levels, really, really enjoy the levels. As you can see, I mean, there's tons and tons of detail. Uh, and let's, I have no idea where this is at in real life. There's no telling. Um, you can run into those poles and stuff, so I mean it has some good depth in it. Uh, you can you can easily hit stuff, so you have to keep that in mind. Um, let's see if I can land this or not. Ah, it's normal for foot planes to do that. You know, if you come in too hot, it'll do that easily. So, but yeah, I just want to show you guys this quick game. Uh, if you have any questions, like I said, just let me know. I'll be happy to help. Uh, catch you guys in the next video.